G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today is episode two of Reef Redo. We're taking an old tank that is not performing very well and we're going to completely replace it with a top end modern reef tank. So let's start by getting rid of this tank. One of the big reasons why we're completely redoing the system is the cabinetry is really badly water damaged. So we're going to be taking a lot of the cabinetry parts off, but the main thing that we're going to focus on is getting the livestock out. We're going to be adjusting them in our propagation room. We're going to be draining the tank, removing the glass and removing the sump and all the water from the sump. So we'll get started by draining out the tank and putting the livestock into boxes and barrels so that we can safely get it to our propagation room. So this is the auto top up reservoir. I'm gonna chuck this straight outside on the ute. So one of the big reasons why we decided to do this full redo of the tank is because the protein skimmer has failed. Now, it's just the impeller, it can be replaced, but uh, we don't currently have access to this. COVID has caused all sorts of problems with the delivery of small spare parts. So uh, we're taking out this Deltec, we'll put it aside and uh, we'll probably use it for another project in the future. Now I'm going to try and empty this in a way that it doesn't go everywhere. You can see there's still probably three litres of water in it. Just opening up this bottom union. Come on. The skimmer has always done really well until its impeller packed it in. Oh, we leave it long. occurred to me, if I can't get this in the bucket, we're in a bit of trouble. Come on. Success. That is a huge turbine coral and uh, it only just fit in the bucket. Uh, we've got our soft corals here. Boy, we're running out of space already. So uh, I'm going to raise this light so we've got as much space as possible. The light is going to be one of the few things that stays in place. Hopefully we won't need to move it when we pull the cabinetry out, but we'll see. But for now anyway, I'm going to just lift it up as high as possible. All right, now I can see what I'm doing. So, just had a bit of a collapse. Uh, put that in the barrel, I reckon, for now. Just had a little bit of a collapse. Some of the rock just fell down. And normally, it hit the front glass. Normally, I'd be really worried because we want to not scratch the glass. But one of the good things about this job is it doesn't matter if we scratch the glass because the tank is going to be going to the tip anyway. 
All right, B, you ready? Yep. Coral. It's really quite incredible uh, how much rock is in here. It's all just been piled up. This tank's been running for a long time, many years, and whoever did this original aquascape has created a mountain of rock. It's, it's very different to the aquascape that we'll be doing uh, in the new tank. So I think we've almost got all the coral that we care about. There's a couple more fluffies, but we haven't got a single fish out yet and we still have to drain a fair bit of water. So it's gonna be a pretty big job. This calcium reactor has also been here for many, many years. And um, calcium reactors can be really good, but this one, I'm looking forward to replacing it. We're gonna put a dosing pump, we'll run Triton of course. Um, it would be great to have a little bit more control and especially uh, in a, for a maintenance job, a tank that we're looking after, having the control of a dosing pump, I find, is a much better option. So, so check out this end cabinet door. This is going to make it easy to make. Just come straight off. You can see how damaged these panels are. Given that we have to take the tank out, we need to take off all of this trim. And some of these bits are easy. They're designed to come off. Some of them won't be as easy, like this. Oh, actually, that was easy. That was just blue tacked in place. Um, so now we'll pull this bit off. See if the Leatherman will help. Okay. All right, well, we've got a bit of a potential hazard with uh, these screws are just snapping straight off. Shows you what salt water does over the years. Those screws came off really easy. Um, but I always carry a Leatherman, so in case I have to pull trim off a tank cabinet. This glass was covering the space above this cavity back here, and it was stopping fish from jumping down where it, they couldn't be reached. Um, our plan would be to have the tank come all the way to the back, so we've got a bigger tank. Uh, it'd be much, much better dimensions. So I'm gonna catch out the diadema urchin. Now, this is a little bit risky because of course they've got very long, very sharp spines and they're incredibly painful if they spine you. I'm gonna use a small net. Hopefully I'll be able to balance him in a way that uh, he doesn't get too stuck in the net. He's out in the open, so it's a good opportunity. All right. Success. Now, you don't want to drop them because you end up with a game of pickup sticks. Uh, I'm just chuck them in there. So underneath this big pile of live rock, we've actually got all these Cataphilia giardini skeletons. Um, can only assume that 10 years ago, these were a relatively cheap coral and um, they probably didn't make it, so they became part of the structure. But that would have been huge. That would be uh, probably hundreds of dollars these days. We've spoken about the overflow in this system and how it's one of the things we can't wait to change on the new tank. It takes up a heap of space, and as such, there's a lot of water in it. So we're going to drain the water out of the overflow, but it's actually quite interesting. The amount of Aptasia in this overflow is incredible. So uh, 
They're obviously enjoying the particles of food and starts to go down the overflow when the fish are being fed, but let's get it draining because it might take a little while. Ah, you can taste the aptasia. <laughs> So it's a very nice gold stripe maroon clown. Uh, chuck them in the barrel, turn that air pump on. Uh, her, actually, that's definitely a female. Yep. So this is the most important fish. This is the one we're definitely keeping. The yellow eye coal tang, it's really, really nice. Let's get her straight in the bucket because she is definitely coming back for the new tank. Our candy cane wasn't quite long enough to reach the bottom in its normal operating position. So we've got it like this so that it'll drain all the water all the way to the bottom, which is gonna save us a fair bit of time. Um, we've still got two more fish to catch out and we are gonna to have to work out how we're gonna get this sump out. The plumbing is, uh, is going to be difficult, so given that we're not keeping any of this system, I'm just going to cut the plumbing with my saw and my leatherman. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out so that it doesn't make taking the tank off difficult. Should be able to. Oh, come on. Twist this off, take the lock nut off, and pull the plumbing up and out in theory. Alright, hooray. So uh, I was told there was a crab in here, and I've just found a shell. So, I uh, haven't seen a crab that matches this shell, so I might find him when he's... <laughs> this always happens. The uh, residual water in the overflow, once you start to take the plumbing out, it always leaks into the sump or onto you. <laughs> If you're in the way. I'll just give it a second. Oh, how's that? Got it. All right, we're winning again. So the plumbing has to come out because we don't have any space above or below the tank, so it has to pull out straight. If we couldn't take this plumbing out, we were stuffed. We weren't gonna be taking the tank out today. So B, do you reckon we're going to be okay, the two of us lifting this tank? Yep, perfect. All right, so two. Um, all right, so I see rock in there. Is that rock we're keeping? No. no. All right. Um, <laughs> let's get rid of all the rock. Look at this. That was the part. That's what I was so worried about being able to get off. Without having the proper tool for it and not having much position or... Um, uh, being able to really get a good grip on it. I didn't think that was going to come out, but it has. So, oh. I just, all of a sudden, it started spewing out water. We better turn these lights off. 
This is still just water out of the overflow, but uh, can someone turn them off? Yeah, I'm trying to. Alright, that's better. Okay. There's so much sand we're going to have to take out of this tank and so little space to get it out. probably gonna make this I'm guessing it's gonna be like a 10 part series the pulling out of the tank and putting in the new tank the design and everything but I think that I've just done the hardest part of the entire series just had to get this plumbing off uh, undo the, the lock nut I hit the thread tape I had to cut it with my saw but I've got it off and Brandon's about to pull it out so again we're winning hooray check out this check out this return line Look at the vermitids on it. That's crazy. All these, you put your hand down the overflow and you end up with being uh, scratched and penetrated by all those horrible little snails. All right. So it's some time. No, I've got it. I've got it. It was the silicon. Ah. This is always one of the worst parts of the job, but there's so much sand and I can hardly even get in here. But what makes it worse, I've got a real floppy dustpan and it just, just doesn't do the job easily. It sucks. I guarantee it's gonna break and I'm gonna be using my hands. This is the last bucket of sand. How many have we done? 10. Yeah, 10. They're probably 10 kilos each, at least, maybe 20. We're talking somewhere between 100 and 200 kilos of sand. Oh boy, <laughs> what a workout. Uh, all right. But he's taking them a lot further than me, so I should mention. <laughs> I'm only getting them out of the tank, he's taking them down to the tip. Okay, time to clean our hands, get the glass grips, clean the front, and see if we can pull this tank out. <sighs> All right, so let's get a feel for how heavy this is gonna be. So, we're just getting a feel for it. I reckon, leave the glass grips where they are for now. Let's both get on one side, and we'll just see if we can pull it, inch it forwards. I'm a bit worried that this is actually resting on it, because so far I haven't been able to get any movement with this tank. Um, so anyway, so we're pulling from the bottom. I'm just gonna edge it on the count of three. One, two, three. All 
All right, that's positive. So, I can feel that we're gonna be able to carry this by ourselves, B. Yep. <laughs> um, we're gonna go all the way straight to the car. So, we've gotta be okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just, what we'll do, we'll uh, set up a safety stop. So, the safety stop is a very secure phone box that we'll use to put the tank on if we get in trouble. Uh, I'll go backwards if you want. Tell me if you're gonna go all the way. Oh, I'll pick these up. Wait, 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 we've got a screw over here. Um, all right, we'll just go straight through. So we've got these screws hanging down here, which means that we've got to pull them at the tank out square or else it's gonna catch on the screws. Can you pull your end out a little bit? Okay, we've cleared the first one. So we'll just, we'll be right. No. Hang on, you can right. push it my way a bit more. Push it. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm right. So that's our job done for today. We've successfully removed the sump and the tank and it was difficult. We had a number of points that we really thought we were going to fail. The plumbing was really difficult. Getting the return pipe out, the drainage line, it was really, really tough, but we did it. The sand was a nightmare. There were hundreds of kilos of sand and, and scooping it out was difficult. The amount of space, uh, with all this water damaged uh, chipboard, it was just messy and horrible, but we've got the job done. So in the future, we're going to pull the hood down, the cabinet, and we're going to take you through the new build in this place. So thank you for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.